Hello everybody, Mental Fox here. Today we're going to begin a playthrough of the Dark Souls 2 DLC, Crown of the Sunken King. Uh, as you can see, I'm at the bonfire in Black Gulch, and uh, you'll find out why here in just a moment, in case you don't already know. Um, this character is a character that I uh, finished the game with, but did not go into New Game Plus. Uh, here's his inventory um, in information. He's got... He's at level 112, and as you can see, uh, I focused pretty much on strength with this guy. Uh, also had to level up endurance quite a bit because I found that in order to wield the heavier weapons, I needed greater endurance, so that's why I also upped that. Um, other than, you know, vigor and vitality, I didn't really up, upgrade anything. Uh, so level 112 guy, I have no idea whether this guy's going to be strong enough to make it through this DLC or not. I have no idea what to expect. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know anything about it. Uh, when you purchase the DLC, um, it's a really small download and really the only indication you have at all that you have the DLC is that when you, if you continue a game that's already in progress, uh, you'll see an item show up in your inventory. And it is this, um, it's in the key section, this, this Dragon Talon. Uh, if you're starting a new game, uh, this will appear in your inventory after talking to the Firekeepers. So this Dragon Talon is the only indication that, you're, that you have the DLC, and it's your only hint as to where you need to go uh, to find the DLC. And at least this one, you know, kind of tells you exactly where to go, uh, or at least the area to go. The, if, you're, if you played the, the original Dark Souls DLC, uh, or know anything about it, you know that uh, that was quite a bit of work to find the find the DLC location on that one. But anyway, you have this Dragon Talon, and the uh, description of it tells you a terribly worn Dragon Talon. Legend has it that in the deepest reaches of the Black Gulch, behind a door locked from the inside, is a magnificent city built for a great sleeping dragon. This talon clearly dates to ancient times, but great vitality emanates from it still. So right there it tells you, somewhere in the deepest reaches of the Black Gulch, uh, you're going to find, uh, presumably, the entrance to the DLC. So, I'm here in Black Gulch, and I am assuming that the entrance will be after the Rotten Battle. Um, as I said before, I've already finished the game with this character, so I don't have to fight the Rotten again. So we'll run into his area, and we'll see. We'll see if there's a, a door or something there. And I get poisoned right off, but who cares? Go ahead and take a poison moss to get rid of the poison. Has to sit up. And we'll make our way to the primal bonfire over here. Can I put it in here? No, still just that chest. Okay, that is considerably different. Uh, if you remember before, this was just a big round dark room with a primal bonfire in the middle of it, and now there's this thing which looks exactly like the sculpture that's found in the Shrine of Winter. Winter. I don't know the lore behind it. I would imagine that somewhere out there on the internet is a, is a nice little description of it, of what it means or what it possibly means. But uh, here it is again. Um, which I can examine, and then there's these pillars, which you could also examine. Let's see what we got. Forbidden is the path. To the ancient king's domain. Trespassers will face adversity befitting a monarch. Uh, I guess they're talking about great adversity. With water dry and path amiss, woeful temptation is dismissed. What the heck does that mean? With water dry and path amiss, Woeful temptation is dismissed. The city of the sunken king sleeps as does the dragon within. Alright. Boss head and shorter roll. Okay. 
Uh, well, let's examine this. And it appears as though this is going to take us someplace. Playing this game on my PC with my wireless Xbox controller, which I'm sure you could hear me clacking on because it's right underneath the microphone. Stay calm, don't give up. Well, I'm not going to give up yet. I just started. Uh, I'm going to guess if I examine that again, it'll take me back where we came from. And this is certainly interesting looking. Let's see if there's anything back here. This kind of reminds me of the entrance to the undead crypt where there were stairs and you could go underneath of them. Try door. There's no door here. You know, uh, I don't guess anything. Anything back here? Secret ahead. Baloney. Okay, well, nothing going on back there that I could find anyway. Money bags required ahead. That has 225 ratings. Why? Is that... Am I missing something? Is that funny? This... The sign written here is being channeled from somewhere far away. What the heck does that mean? Am I losing my network connection? Is that what that means? Visions of a hope, but be wary of despair. The sign written here is being channeled from somewhere far away. Okay. Hurrah for friend. Yes, hurrah for friend. These are vaguely human shaped. I don't know what they signify. These kind of remind me of that area in Demon Souls where you could uh, view the, what is it, top players of the game. But it doesn't look as though that is the case here. I don't know what this business is. Head? Uh, convenient spot to look, or uh, light a torch. Let's go ahead and light it. Just in case something, uh, dark areas ahead. These don't look like they do anything. Now the real fight begins. I'll be the judge of that. Secret ahead. Is it a secret that these doors open? This place again, by the way, expensive. Money bags required ahead, therefore, try sadness. I do not know what that means. Are they commenting on the price of the DLC? I didn't think the price was that bad, but then again, I haven't played it yet. Maybe if it's like ridiculously short, it might not be worth it. Hurrah for joy. Hurrah for joy indeed. I couldn't agree more. More strange sculptures. These are definitely human shaped. Got some crystals here over here just like the ones you see in Brightstone Cove to Seldora. It's like breathing or growling. Whatever it is, it sounds big. They're snoring? Let's see, what got this guy? Well, he's fighting with somebody and lost. Hmm. Something gonna ambush me here? Try beanpole. Why is beanpole a message in the game? It's kind of hard to see. I don't know, a lot of fighting going on here. I thought I saw something. Something crawl out of these holes? Oh, that's cool. Gorgeous view. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's neat. 
Definitely something big, breathing or snoring. Overwhelming. Shova Sanctum City. That is cool. Let's see, does this guy roll off the edge? Who are these guys fighting? <clears throat> I'm uh, anxious to find out. Like I said, uh, level 112, you know, sounds <laughs> sounds pretty high level, but uh, who knows? I, I don't know what's expected for this new DLC. That is a sleeping dragon. Uh, am I going to fight him right off? Is this like the DLC for the original Dark Souls where you fight that um, old, that guardian lion dude right off? Uh, let's see, is it bright enough in here? Yeah, I don't need that anymore. Let's get the shield out just for fun. Let's switch over to my Mastodon Greatsword. And, um, hopefully this guy won't breathe on me. Oh, crap, 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 crap. That's why all these people are dying. Oh, crap, is he chasing me? Can you make it through this hole? Oh, okay, cool. He's flying away. Well, that's a relief. <sighs> I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to fight him at some point. And actually, the uh, Talon mentioned something about a dragon. Magnificent city built for a great sleeping dragon. Well, I guess that's him. The, dra the city was built for him. Why well, don't... I mean, I don't want to have to kill him. Maybe I won't have to. Yeah, right. I did it! What did you do? Bonfire ahead. Below, in the envisions of bonfire. Down here? What is that? Uh, oh, are those dinosaurs? Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. And there looks like some items down there. Those look scary. Uh, I don't think I see a ledge to drop down on. I'll keep walking this way. Ah, bonfire. Okay. Go ahead. Rest here. I'm gonna guess that dragon doesn't come back. No, he does not. Okay. Help me. So we've got a path leading there. And is there one? Okay, looks like the one over there too. Let's see what's down here, because there's an item down here. What happened to this guy? Standing there, standing there. <laughs> Dude, why did you do that? <laughs> he just couldn't take it anymore. This guy's fighting somebody and losing this place again. Uh, this is my first time here. Don't do it. Don't do it, dude. Ah, dude. Old Growth Bomb. What is Old Growth Bomb? Let's see. Alright, have I passed it up? Old Growth Bomb temporarily increases strength. A bomb extracted from a rare plant temporarily increases strength. This special fragrant oil affects the mind, granting a fleeting sense of empowerment. Alright. Uh, I'm a strength guy. That might come in handy at some point. Oh man, I wish I had a torch. What's going on in here? Anybody? I don't hear anything. What happened to him? Ooh, look at that club he's got. Ooh, and a crossbow. Who did he lose to? We got a big sword. Hmm. Is this a switch? No. Uh, that's a long way down. I wonder if that goes to where those dinosaurs are. Those dinosaur looking things. This reminds me of the Dark Souls DLC. Oh, I don't remember the area, but there was a place where you went in and, um,. There was a big shaft that went down just like that. 
I don't remember what caused it to come up either. I think you had to go to the bottom and write it up. All right, so I guess this is a shortcut to or from someplace that I can't get to yet. So we'll, we'll come back here later. Lots of walkways. That's a scary looking walkway over there. I like that you can hear the uh, waterfalls from here. That's cool. Labyrinth. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Don't fall off, dude. Don't do it. Uh, oh, what's that there? Is this a uh, good guy, bad guy? Bad guy. 